Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright, so today I thought I'd do a little cheaty chatty, you know, leveling up, give you guys some tea advice video about the things that I do to make myself look good, to make myself feel good, the things that I has helped transform my life completely in the way that I feel, in the way that I carry myself, in how I just put myself forward to the world. Like these things have really, really changed my life. Like, and there's some of them are like the smallest things, but it's crazy in life how like the smallest things that we do can just level up your life, can just change you and transform you into a completely different woman or a new woman. So I have seven things that I've done throughout my leveling up journey and my growth journey of becoming the woman of my dreams and the woman I just envision myself being in five years time. And the first thing that I think that every woman should do to make yourself feel better is invest in your appearance, right? Whether that is invasive or non-invasive procedures, so whether that is fillers or Botox or having a breast augmentation or liposuction or I don't know, I would even say a BBL, like, you know, obviously I would also say be very careful do what makes you happy. I'm not saying you should do this. No, I'm saying if these are the things that are gonna make you feel better about yourself, that's gonna bring you to become the woman of your dream, the, the way you see that woman being, and you need a lot of help to get there, then do you boo. Don't have no one tell you, you know, you shouldn't do that. For me personally, some things that I have invested in that has transformed my life completely is my teeth. I had overcrowding on my bottom teeth, it is hereditary. My mom has overcrowding on her bottom teeth, my uncles do, and it really irritated me. I hated the way that I would speak because I felt that I would talk with a little bit of a, you know, like a twist to my mouth. I wouldn't talk straight. Um, every time I would see videos of myself, even when I'd watch my own YouTube videos, I really disliked them because I didn't like how my teeth looked. I was very insecure. I also had like this horrible, filling that was like silver and it looked like there was a peppercorn stuck in my teeth and one day I just decided nope no more I got my filling change actually funnily enough my filling fell out my filling fell out and I was forced to go to the dentist after a long time of not going to the dentist and I said to them you know what I would rather pay more money and have the one that's just white and you can't see it blends in with my teeth I did that I paid I paid whatever needed to be paid for that then I said you know what now I'm doing my whole teeth thing let me look into getting Invisalign I did that with my consultation I started my Invisalign journey and I've done a video talking about my Invisalign journey which I'll link above so you guys can see if you are thinking about that but when I tell you my confidence has increased so much by getting my teeth done it's worth every single penny and I'm so much more happier with my smile, with my teeth, with the way that I speak. And it just aligns with the woman that I want to be. Another thing that I did was get laser hair removal. Whoa, guys. Whoa. Life changing. I'm the type of girl, I'm a lazy girl. I don't like shaving. I'm really lazy sometimes putting my shaving um, cream on so I slather it on which means it throws off my whole key hage and now we've got a whole hot mess going on everywhere right listen I was that girl completely could not be bothered didn't care for it in you know razor bumps and ingrown hairs and all this stuff don't like it can't deal with it and then one day I thought you know what I'm getting laser hair removal it was mostly to do with my boyfriend because I really get so each out and just like a bit anxious so and I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna go see him my legs ain't done my arms ain't done my you know private parts is not done and I'm just like I need to have this in check like I can't be going on all pretty and cute being that girl and you know embodying the woman I want to be and I'm a hot hairy mess so I just said to myself you know what I'm going to invest in getting laser hair um, removal and when I say it was the best thing I did for myself it is it has transformed my life when I'm going on holidays. I don't have to worry about getting a wax or using shaving cream or when I'm on holiday, my hair's going back and then shaving and getting ingrown hairs. 
I don't have to worry about none of that stuff no more because I go every two, three months, I get my laser done and the hair does not grow back, guys. It doesn't grow. It grows back super fine, super thin. I absolutely love it. It was honestly one of the best things I did. Other things I really try to do is get my nails done, so manicure and a pedicure every couple of weeks, maintaining my nails. But don't get me wrong, there's times where life just really be life here, right? And I just don't have time to go to the salon. But when I can, I go, I get them to scrub my foot bottom, you know, get rid of all that dead skin. Cause I want to have baby smooth, you know, I want to rub my leg up all on my mouth without him feeling like razor blades are scratching over his legs. And I like having my nails done. I think it's really girly. It's nice. I keep it simple. I'm a friendship type of girl or a nude color girl or a nice red color. I just can't be doing the most. Sometimes I do the most. If my boyfriend says, oh babe, I think you should do this color, then I'm like, cool, I'll do it for you. But other than that, I keep it simple. So little stuff like that has just really made me feel good. Other stuff, you know, like getting your lash extensions. I haven't started getting lash extensions because I'm really bad at picking my lashes and I've had them before and I find them really uncomfortable. So I'm skeptical about that. But lash extensions, if you can tolerate them, they are definitely worth your money. Getting your eyebrows microbladed as well. I have seen girls get them done. They look amazing. They last a really long time. And I don't know if it's only me, but I feel like when your eyelashes are done, your brows is like in like penciled in, your hair is like just slipped back or tied back neatly. You just look so put together. You don't have to put no makeup on. Make sure your skincare is just impeccable and you're good to go. So definitely invest in in non-surgical or surgical stuff, I would definitely say do it. Do you? Who cares what other people have to say? If it's gonna make you happy, do you? The second thing that has really upgraded my life and how I feel is literally just putting myself together every day. And even the days when I'm not going out, I've bought so many cute loungewear sets and houseware sets so that when I'm in the house, I can put on my cute matching sets. I can just, you know, do my skincare, make sure my skin is looking really plump and supple and moisturized and hydrated. And, you know, if I've got braids like this I'll just slick back my hair I won't necessarily do my baby hairs but you know just tie my hair back if I've got my hair out I'll tie it in a bun if I've got my cane rose in I might put my wig on if I'm going out somewhere just you know make myself feel a bit glammed put myself together every single day has really changed how I feel about myself they say like if you look good you feel good and the more you get into that habit of doing that every day not just putting yourself together on the days where you're going to work or you're going out do it every day like every day put yourself together every day you know make yourself feel good once you start doing this it will really transform your life for the better guys like trust and believe it really will i feel like this is explanatory but maybe not everyone does this but little stuff like having a shower brushing your teeth i'm someone like when i shower i really go in depth like i'm like using these nice scented body oils and body scrubs and um you know all of these Bar in the Dove Special Mousse um, brands or anything I can find in the super drugs or boots. I, oh, this looks really nice. Oh, this smells really good. I'll always put them. I'm like a shower gel addict. I always have like about six or seven shower gels at one time in my bathroom just because I like to have variety. Other little things that I like to do on a day-to-day -day basis as well, or even when I'm going out, is like putting jewelry on. You know, I love my collarbone, wearing necklaces, bracelets, Yes earrings earrings are like a big thing for me sometimes i feel really naked if i'm not wearing earrings like right now i'm just wearing earrings no other jewelry and i feel good i feel okay i feel like i'm shining bright like a diamond right now but sometimes if i'm not wearing jewelry or earrings i can feel a bit more dull so just putting jewelry on and um, investing in like nice jewelry you know quality jewelry as well is also something that you guys should do another thing that i'm really big on that i do is perfume if you 
guys don't know, I am a massive perfume head. I've done so many perfume reviews and perfume hauls. I'll link them above. I love perfumes and I'm someone when I'm going to bed at night, I like to spray perfume on or if you don't want to put perfume on, you can put body mist. You know, put your body mist on just like the little cheap ones or your nice Victoria's Secret ones on. And you, I just love going to bed smelling good and feeling good and on a day-to-day -day basis when I go out, I like to smell good. Good. I think it's very feminine. It makes you look put together. It makes people think well of you. You know, if you smell good, they just, you know, it makes me think, oh, she smells nice. Like she must be really clean, you know, because she smells good. So that's something that I've really become super, super big on as I've gotten older. Okay, so the third thing that I like to do is I like to have pamper days. I like to have days where I splash out and I take myself to a really nice spa in a nice hotel and I get a treatment done. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't often because they are pricey. So I will do this about two, three times a year and I just love those pamper days. Pamper days for me as well includes just going for lunch, going for lunch dates, whether that's with my girlfriends or my boyfriend or even going by myself. Just going to lunch, by myself ordering an avocado and toast in a beautiful location with my Kindle reading a book whilst I look put together and I smell good is something I love doing. Another thing that I'm trying to do more now is going shopping. I know we love online shopping and getting things delivered to our houses, but sometimes I just love to just get dressed up, put my favorite fragrance on, put my earpods in, take myself to Selfridges or take myself to Zara and try the stuff on and buy things. Like it's nice to just swipe your bank card sometimes, not just have it on your phone automated. So for me personally, going shopping is a big thing for me to pamper myself. I don't know about you, if you agree, let me know down below. Okay, other things I like to do on pamper days, days that I'm also not leaving the house, I have a hair care day. If you guys have 4C hair like myself, if you don't, then you won't probably get the struggle, right? But with my hair, it's a whole day job. It is a hot oil treatment. It's getting my henna, you know, put together the night before so that it can kind of infuse. It is doing tea treatments, deep conditioning my hair, steaming my hair, braiding my hair because I don't like putting heat on my hair, doing a twist out or then canoing my hair down. It is a whole day thing. And I used to hate this process because it used to feel like such a job. But what I now do is I take it as a self-care day, like a pamper day. So what I like to do is light my incense, put my nice music, maybe put on a movie, have a glass of wine and take my time and slowly say, okay, I wanna do this, this and this to my hair and I'm just gonna slowly slowly like get through it for the day. I'll have like a nice shower at the end or maybe a nice bath at the end just to get all that gunk off my shoulders. And honestly, I just love doing my hair now. Well, now that I've kind of changed my mindset around doing my hair and I now see it as a pamper session, a self-care session, it doesn't feel as daunting, I guess, when I have to do my hair now. Okay, so the fourth thing that I've done to make myself feel better and just to align with the woman I wanna be is I have started to wear clothing that aligns with the woman I want to be and where I'm at in my life. I think one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they hold on to still trying to wear certain clothing that doesn't align to where they are in life. It's like you being a mum but still wanting to wear like boob tube tops and crop tops and patty riders and don't get me wrong if that's your thing then to each its own do you right? But me personally, if I'm someone's whole mother out here, I wanna look like someone's mom. Don't get me wrong, I wanna look like a hot mom. I'm not saying I wanna look like a grandma or something, but I do wanna also, you know, look good and look respectable and look like someone's mom, you know, someone who can 
command respect if that makes sense i now have a lot more clothes that are not as fitting you know not as revealing a lot more baggier yeah it's giving like boyfriend oversized boyfriend blazers oversized boyfriend jeans i'm kind of more into that oversized look than i am into that super fitted look don't get me wrong i still love a tight dress or a nice dress that hugs my body nicely like i'm still very much into that but now i just like to wear things that aligns with the woman i am which means not wearing the brightest neon colors you know wearing a lot more pants and blazer suits i love wearing pants and blazer suits like my favorite place to shop right now is zara and mango i have a ton of zara and mango hauls so if you do want to see some zara and mango hauls then I'll link some above here. I'll link a playlist and you guys just watch those if you want to curate like a more mature, sexy, feminine wardrobe then definitely definitely watch my videos all right so the fifth thing that i have done to completely transform my life is going to the gym and i used to go to the gym but i was really bad like i'll go today then i won't go for three weeks and i'll go one day then i'll go two days later and it was just basically all over the place now i try to go to the gym three times minimum a week i've even changed my gym to a gym that has a swimming pool and classes just because i want to start doing different things other than just going to those really cheap simple you know um the gym group your gym type of easy gym places because i just want more from my gym so that's why not because those gyms aren't great absolutely love them but i just want to be able to do more play tennis go swimming pilates yoga and when you start to go to these gyms that are more pricier they do offer a lot more classes other things that I've done is just having hobbies like playing tennis. I haven't played tennis in a little while because it's really cold, but during the summertime, me and my girlfriend, we love to go to the park and just play tennis. Even other things like reading a book, especially in the summertime, I love having me days where I just go to the park with my blanket and my Kindle and maybe a good bottle of wine and my wine glass. And I will sit there with my sunglasses on my speakers, listen to some music and just read a good book and just enjoy nature, the scenery and just kind of meditate. Just have me time and enjoy the sun and the good vibes and the weather other things as well that i think are hobbies is like going to shopping and lunch dates and taking myself out on little um activities or spa days also links in with what i said before about pamper days those as well are little hobbies like shopping to me is like a whole hobby like you know if you're a lady you know like going shopping is a whole thing like it, it's it's effort but just you know just indulging in myself and indulging in the things that i love to do is something that i'm really really big on especially now where i'm at in this point of my life the sixth thing that i love to do to make me feel really good and also just elevate myself and elevate my life and where i'm at is every single handbag i have i have like this cute little carry bag and i always have essentials in there that'll be gum floss hand cream hand sanitizer lip balm like guys you can't be having crusty dry lips you can't be having crusty dry hands like every time you go wash your hands you need to have um hand lotion so you can moisturize your hands you can moisturize your lips bring your lip liner whatever lipstick color you're wearing that day top it up you know that makes you feel so bougie and good bring your compact kit i always have my pressed powder and a brush just in case i want to like freshen up my makeup maybe i'm getting a bit oily or maybe i'm out and all of a sudden someone said let's meet up for drinks and i'm completely barefaced and i just want to put a powder on to kind of even out my skin tone and tone down my skin just pop the powder on put lip gloss on cream my hands and i'm good to go so definitely having like a little pouch in your bag with some essentials, gum, floss, hand cream, lip balm, pressed powder. Ladies, come on now, we need to start doing that. Also pack a pad, one pad, a tampon in there because you never know when Mrs. Flo is gonna come, you know, and you never know when mother nature is gonna turn up and you do not wanna be left, you know, like blown out. Like, oh my gosh, it's that time and I didn't know. Sometimes I even put a pen, you guys. Like I put one little black, prime off underwear in that bag wrap it up with my pads because you know you might be wearing an underwear that's not so suitable for putting a sanitary pad on um 
and you know you know things happen so just having those things inside your handbag and always just being prepared just elevates you and makes you just feel more grown more sexy more ready for life and it just adds to who you are as a woman all right so the final thing that i've implemented in my life that makes me feel so good that has completely transformed my life and i think this is also one of one of the most important ones out of everything i've said yeah is a clean living and vitamins guys i have started getting in like b12 shots regularly and if you do not get vitamin b12 shots look into that now i know that a lot of places do these like you know um concoction of different vitamins and you get it put through a drip and those are meant to be really good just investing in those they are on the price side but health is wealth guys like you have to invest in your health in your body in your vessel you only have one body you want to look good you want to feel good and that means taking pro Biotics as a woman, taking your vitamins and paying sometimes to have these extra treatments done. Making sure you're investing in your body, in what you eat. So eating more fruits and vegetables. I try to eat fruits like every single day. I try to stay away from like caffeine and fizzy drinks. Like I never really like fizzy drinks anyway, but I drink like a ton of water like a ton of water i've got like this big massive one liter bottle and i try to drink at least two three liters a day and honestly that'll make your skin feel good it makes your body feel good it's good for your hair it's good for everything like we need water to survive as human beings so making sure that you're hydrated is so important you know that that just impacts so many different areas of your life making sure that you eat fruits and vegetables so your body is getting the nourishments and nutrients that you need so you can have that energy to get through each and every day i used to struggle so much with being tired and my weight and all of this stuff and now i don't and if you guys want a video on that then let me know in the comment section because i have come such a long way when it comes to my body and um, looking after myself feeling fatigued and tired all the time feeling like i don't have energy and with all of these changes taking vitamins probiotics getting b12 shots um you know fruit and veg drinking loads of water i have seen such a massive 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 change in my body in my skin in my hair and just in the quality of my life and we're trying to live a long and fruitful life so definitely definitely investing in your health is a big one so that kind of summarized this video and this is everything that i've been doing no lies guys this has changed my life like all of these things that i have said has transformed my life immensely like my life and who i am today has a great deal to do with these things that i've implemented and the changes that i've made in becoming the woman i want to be i've done a video on becoming the woman you want to become and how to go about that so make sure you watch that video now i'll leave it above make sure you check out my other videos where i talk about vitamins knowing your cycle taking care of yourself and also just leveling up in this femininity journey all right so if you made it all the way to the end of this video then make sure you hit the subscription button down below give me a like leave me a comment follow me on all my other socials which are popping up on the screen right here and on to my next video i'll see you guys then so take care bye